What's up, everybody? This is Squiggy with the Music Experience at Loudwire's Gear Factor. I'm hanging out with Mr. John Cook from the mighty Napalm Death. See, yep. thank you so much for hanging with us, man. Welcome, thank you. Man. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> um, so, what was the first riff before you were a guitar player, right? When you were just yeah. little John Cook sitting in, you know, in front of the TV, <laughs> you know, listening to whatever. Uh, what was the riff that made you want to pick up guitar? I think... Pretty sure it was Johnny Be Good. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Awesome, like, awesome. I don't know, it's just something I remember when it was on when I was a little kid, he said, just fucking run around the house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's destroying everything. Yeah. Do you remember where you were when you first heard it? Yeah, I was, um, it was at like, my grandma's house, and I remember it was on the radio or something. I just remember hearing the energy and just running. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's great, it's yeah. great. Now, uh, when you first picked up the guitar, um, what was your first guitar? How did you get your first guitar? My first guitar was this terrible Les Paul copy that was just falling apart. Yeah. But uh, it just looked like, looked like what Slash was playing, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was, <laughs> was pretty chuffed with that. Great. But, uh, and what was the first song you learned first on, on that guitar? If it was on that guitar, it was definitely from the Bell Tolls by Metallica. Yeah. Just because it's like, you know, it's just so simple that... <laughs> Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was just a simple run out chords and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And they had that little bit of chunky puzzle. Something like that. Was, was Metallica the early influence? Yeah, I mean, I used to watch, um, I remember the, the live video, for, was it's Live Ship Binge and Purge mm -hmm. from, um, from the Injustice tour. Sure. And I would just uh, uh, obsessively just watch it and watch these right hand down picking everything. Yeah. Because I just kind of learned to up down pick a lot, and I, yeah. I didn't realize you'd go up as well. Right. So I was just watching James <laughs> Evans. <Right. laughs> it's great. Um, you are you are now a part of the ESP family. Yeah. Um, everybody that watches the show knows that I love Tellys. Um, yeah. Th th this is one of my favorite LTD guitars. Um, th did I hear right? Th this thing literally just showed up. Is that right? I literally got this about twenty minutes ago from um, my friend Kevin Sharp from Brutal Truth. He just dropped it off. Yeah for us and uh, it was in tune when it yeah. arrived so yeah. I'm, I'm really pleased with it actually because I've got a similar one back home yeah but uh, I wasn't able to make it it's a bit game some stuff done to it but uh, yeah. yeah sounds good you were a, you were a fan of Napalm Death yeah. before you got in the band I, I, I've I've heard some variations of uh, of your story and, and how it came to be yeah uh, I, I kind of want to hear it right from uh, right from the horse's uh, mouth give uh, me this crazy give me this crazy story okay basically um I used to work at a recording studio in Birmingham, in the UK, and Napalm rehearsed there, and I had a job when I was working for the company to drop Danny and Shane from Napalm at a recording session they were doing with Venomous Concept. So I was driving them in the van, I was just chatting to them, you know, I was a big fan, I was like, yeah. like fucking hell, this is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we were just geeking out about Star Wars stuff, and yeah. <laughs> just talking about old punk bands and stuff, and they eventually asked me to come on tour with them. Mm -hmm. I was selling t-shirts, because the person they, usually used couldn't do it. and that was about maybe 12 years ago now mm. and from there I ended up selling merch I ended up as a tour manager driving them all over Europe um, then uh, one time Barney got sick and I jumped on stage and I had to do vocals for a few songs oh wow <laughs> that was that oh. was in uh, Spain I think and then another time Shane had some problems and wasn't able to make three shows. One of them was uh, Summer Breeze Festival in Germany. And I had to fill in on bass and I had to learn the entire set in like 24 hours. Wow. And I, then I was on a plane the next day to play. Oh shit, wow. So yeah, and then uh, of course when Mitch had to go, go, go uh, had some personal stuff going on, then I was brought in as live guitar player. What is, uh, what is your favorite Napalm riff? Oh, favorite one. Oh, it's gotta be some of the children, <laughs> yeah. The break day bit was. It's no matter, every time you play that, it's just the crowd stops and then fuck it, they just start going yeah. every time. That's simple. Perfect way to end the yeah. interview right there. <laughs> dude, dude, there is nothing better than that, dude. Thank you welcome, so man. much, man, nice for hanging you. out with us, man. It's all good. Hanging out with Mr. John Cook from the Mighty Napalm. Horns up. <laughs>